Secretary Carter, Acting Secretary Fang, Joe Milley, yes, Sergeant Major Daly, members of Congress, Medal of Honor recipients present, and I here today, Gold Star families, distinguished guests, my brothers and sisters in the Armed Forces, Armed Services, Mom, Dad, Carson, and my family friends. Good morning. So. If you know me, you understand the fact that I do not like to write speeches. <laughs> but I figured that I probably needed to write something today. Step back from this mic. So bear with me. This is the first time I've ever done any type of speech while looking at notes. But this comes from the heart, and I wanted to make sure that my words were correct. So today I stand in front of you as a proud American grateful to have been given the opportunity to serve and wear the colors from our country in a time of war. I was blessed to be surrounded, trained, mentored, led and followed by our, some of our nation's greatest warriors. I am honored, beyond honored, to become a member of the Hall of Heroes. I was given the opportunity to spend a lot of times with a lot of our Medal of Honor recipients such as 10 year old Foley, retired, who graciously invited me to his home with his wife and just made me understand what a true honor it is to be part of this fraternity. But this could not have happened without the mentorship and guidance of my brothers and sisters. Here today, it is important for me to highlight a few of you. So the first person I'd like to highlight is Sergeant First Class, retired Corey Staley. If you can stand up, please. There you are. I was a brand new second lieutenant. I had just graduated out of uh, Ranger School in October of 2009 when I drove as fast as I could across the country to Fort Carson in order to deploy and serve my country because my unit was already in combat. And uh, when I got there pretty quick, and when I got there, I realized I didn't know anything about anything. I was green as it gets, and I was in combat in one of the most kinetic places in the world, and I was in charge of leading men. That man right there took me in. He showed me patience and strength. He allowed me to lead in my own way, but always guided me in the correct path. He talked to me, he listened to me, he taught me. He was the NCO that you need as a young officer in order to become successful. Most importantly, he allowed me to be the right leader at that time to bring home our boys. The next person is another NCO, is Sergeant First Class Brent. Brent. Brink was, is the epitome of, of the NCO Corps. His leadership molded our team, a team that was part of August 8, 2012, the team that protected Brigadier General Mingus, at the time Colonel Mingus. Uh, he was there with me, to my right, to my left, in front of me, in my, to the rear, at all times. He made sure that I was doing the right things at all times. He understood that sometimes I would get overwhelmed with the movements, and he would look at me and say, sir, I got this. I've been doing this for a while. He was exactly what I needed. He was exactly what our team needed. He was exactly what Command Sergeant Major Griffin needed. He was exactly what Colonel Mingus at the time, now Brigadier General Mingus, needed. You're the right leader, and for that, I will always be thankful. And I'm going to make, because I know we have a time crunch here, but I'm going to tell you one thing. All you guys, please stand up. Uh, Balrama, Secor, Ochart, and if you can, <laughs> Mahoney. <laughs> you talk about family. You know, I I was born and. I had wonderful parents and uh, wonderful family, but uh, uh, 
when you deploy and you're in combat, these, these individuals become your brothers. You will do anything for them. And you all are. Mahoney, I'm, you, you, I never had to worry about a thing about Mahoney. Mahoney squared me away quite a few times. He was sarcastic at times. <laughs> Typical sergeant that looks at a lieutenant and, you know, asks him to do something. He'd do it. A little smirk. <laughs> I had uh, Balderrama, who I owe my life to, as well as Brinks. Balderrama saved my life. Simple. I would have died that day. I was bleeding out. And he kept me awake, he gave me a tourniquet, and um, you know, and for that, I, don't, I can't even say thank you, that's not enough. c Corps and O-Chart, PFCs, I mean, unbelievable. Guys that go in Afghanistan, you know, and, and young and, and, and just so proud, and you tell them, hey, I need you to do this, on that day I switched everything, I told, I told Ochart, hey, you're no longer at the top of the diamond, you're at the rear of the diamond, and if we do, if something happens, you take the, you take the colonel down, you take him to safety. I don't care what he says to you, you are the boss now. And all he says, Roger that, sir. <laughs> and he did that. c -Corps? hey, c -Corps, I'm gonna need you to move to the front with Brink. Even though the entire tour, you've been next to Command Sergeant Major Griffin. He looked at me, didn't like it, he said, Roger that, sir. You move it up there. I'm so proud of you guys. It's an honor, honor to have served with you and your brothers for life. And I love you guys. Last person I'd like to recognize on my team is the, one of the greatest, if not the greatest man after my father in the world, yeah, Brigadier General Mingus. My mentor and the greatest leader I've ever served under and I'm going to be very short with this because you're a man of few words, sir. And I wrote it down. I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. The way he led made everyone want to be better. His personality made our job easy. I would have and still would lay down my life for you, sir. Thank you. Now, lastly, the most important people here and not here. Command Sergeant Major Griffin, Major Kennedy, Major Gray, and Reggie Abdel Fattah. <laughs> On August 8, 2015, our country lost four incredible Americans, four men that made the ultimate sacrifice, four individuals that changed lives around them for the better, four true heroes for which this medal and honor belongs to. I carry it in my heart, I carry it in my body, and I carry it in my soul every single day. I miss them, and I understand that my responsibility now in this world is to live through them and to live for them and their families and to be better. This is my goal, you've heard it many times, it will be my goal until one day I lay down on their ground, and I joined them in heaven. And this honor also belongs to their families, which are here. If you could please stand up. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Gold Star families. We have, the Griff we have the Griffins, Kennedys, Grays, and unfortunately, uh, not here, but in our hearts, uh, the Abdel Fattahs. <laughs> they, you, you all represent what true perseverance stands for and what the American spirit truly is. I told you this, this is going off script, I told you this, and maybe recently, but the biggest fear I always had when I came back from Afghanistan, I had two. First was that you would not accept me because I was not able to bring everyone home. And second, that I could no longer do my job and bring you home 
sir. I wanted that job, and I wanted to be there till December, but I couldn't do it anymore. These were my two demons that I lived with on that specific day. But you, what you represent, the Gold Star families, is everything of what America is. Though I'm here today, and your loved ones are not, they are here in spirit with us, they are in my heart, they are in every one of my guys' hearts, every single person that was involved that day, they are with them and their families. But you still came to support us, still came to support me, you still came to support each other. This honor is yours, all yours. This medal, I carry it on my body, it is yours, it is for you. And I mean it from, the, from everything inside me. Thank you for being you, and I love you. In closing, I want to thank the Army. I want to thank my country. I want to thank God. Thank you for the opportunity to serve and wear this uniform. I, was, I will always do my best to better myself and represent our flag and nation with honor. Thank you.